Okay, I'm about to start this video right now and I don't know which is the real palette and which is the fake palette. That chair keeps squeaking. Crap. Lord have mercy. Here I go again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm back with another real versus fake. Real versus fake. Wow. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. I am back with another Real vs. Fake review and today we're doing the Too Faced uh, Sweet Peach palette. I um, got this palette a couple of weeks ago. I know it came out in like, I think November or something. Well, they re-released it. But this is an old palette that Too Faced did that was a limited edition. Then it came back in stock. And then I think it sold out. I'm not sure. Probably just link it down below instead of guessing where it is and not really knowing. Anyway, I'm not going to talk too much about packaging today because you guys seem to like not be so excited about the packaging. Although I coming from like a graphic design whatever background think that that's like super important because before you even open the palette you need to know like what the box box looks like right to know if it's real or fake for those of you who don't really want to hear about the packaging stuff i'll put the timestamp where you can skip through the video and not i really won't but you're just going to have to fast forward and guess where i start talking about the actual palette so i've just uploaded a, a Too Faced sweet peach palette tutorial and i'll link that right here for those of you who want to know how to use this palette if you haven't before if you're thinking about purchasing it here's a great video for you to watch and for everybody else who's been following my real vs fake series thank you so much for watching thank you so much for like encouraging me to do these videos jumping into packaging i don't want to take too long but i'm just going to show you side by side as i usually do you guys know i like legit before i started this video didn't even know which was the real which was the fake so here's a close-up of the real palette and the fake palette i'm like which one do you think's real i mean how crazy is that and then here is a look at the back I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. The top one that I showed you was the real one and the bottom one that I showed was the fake one. They are like so similar. Honestly, it's like really difficult to tell the difference. The real one has like a better debossing and the printing, the foil printing is like a little more, um, how do you call it, opaque than the other one. Um, and the fake one is really like rubbed off um, in the areas that it has foil. And then the gradient on the printing as well is very, very difficult to tell. But this one is more saturated, uh, which is the real one, than the fake one. And literally, like, that's about it. Even on the side where it says Too Faced over here, they look like the same. So looking at the back of the packages, you can tell by the printing that the colors on the real one and the colors on the fake one um, look different. Initially, I thought this was just like a, print, a printing mistake, but it seems that even though the kind of names are the same, the actual colors on the printing are different. Okay, and that's everything I have to say about packaging. So let's move on to the actual product. This is the real palette and this is the fake palette. It's really difficult to tell the difference again from the packaging. Yeah, I can't tell the difference. Um, the way that I do know that I'm holding the real one, which is the one in my hand right now, is by the smell. The real one really does have that like sweet peachy smell, which is like one of their selling points, I guess. And the fake one just smells like powder, like some kind of powder, I don't know. So here's a look at the colors in the palette. They're really beautiful. I've used this palette a couple of times. What I love about the way that this palette is made is that I don't feel like I have to dip into any other palettes for like colors, like I can get a full look from this. And there's a really good balance between matte pigments and shimmer pigments as well. So I don't feel like I need to go pull from a different palette to compensate for that. And I know it's really difficult to achieve that. And sometimes like when you're looking for a palette, um, you end up like getting gypped. Who says gyp? That's not even like a word that people use. I don't even say gyp. Babe, what's a word for gyp? What do I say? Ah, okay. Ripped off. Ripped off. Thank you. And sometimes when you're looking for a palette, you end up getting like robbed of the colors that you want because like you think like, oh my gosh, you're so excited. You bought this new palette and you're going to have all these looks out of it. And then it's missing like a transition color. And then you have to go to another palette and it's like the worst thing ever. So I really love this palette and I know this is a real versus fake comparison, but I just want to take a moment to rant about the fact that this is like an all-inclusive, you can do day looks, night looks, matte looks, shimmer looks, all kinds of looks with this palette. And I'm really excited to um, do more tutorials with this. Anyway, so let me just show you the, the colors of the fake one. Um, so here at first glance, they look really similar because they actually, again, are very, very similar. We'll see when I'm swatching it, the difference between the two. But I'm going to hold them up side by side um, so you guys can see what they look like. So the biggest difference that I can tell 
uh, between the real and the fake one just looking at the pans itself is that the real one has gold lettering of the, um, where the color names are then the fake one has like a like a brown or a lighter color and I'll insert a shot so you can see it right now um, there aren't any spelling mistakes like on some of the other palettes that I've reviewed there aren't any like crazy differences the, the thing weighs the same the pans are inset the same amount into both of these palettes so it's like this is like a really good replica so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take three colors at a time i'm going to swatch them on the back of my my hand and i'm going to do a reel on the top and fake on the bottom and we're just going to go in increments and see the differences between the colors so here are the first three colors we're looking at white peach nectar and peaches and cream really hate that these are so comparable because I really don't want people to go out and buy a fake product but I have to give a real review okay so the fake ones aren't as pigmented so here we have luscious cobbler and Georgia so these three are just peachy candy peach and caramelized I think you can see a big difference in these colors. So the next three are Bless Her Heart, Bellini, and Puree. And here we have Tempting, Peach Pit, and Summer Yum. And the last three are Charmed I'm Sure, Delectable, and Talk Derby to Me. Alright, so that is it for all the swatches. I won't lie for a second there. I was a little bit nervous because I thought that the colored payoffs were going to be the same on the real one as the fake one, but it's clear, as you can see by the swatches, that the real one, the real uh, pigments are way, way creamier. Just like to the touch of my finger, I can feel that they're way more blendable. Um, the other ones aren't as opaque. Some of them don't really show up as much, although the colors do seem to be really similar, and I guess, like, if you try to build it up, you would get maybe... A similar pigment but I noticed as I was just swatching them the way that they were gliding um, they were a little bit patchy on the fake ones um, versus the real ones seem to be really cre creamy and just easy just as I was like kind of blending on my hand um, just like with my fingers um, I am not going to review the fake one uh, by putting it on my eyes because I have learned my lesson and if you haven't seen that video I'm going to link it right here as well so you can check that out but I basically got an eye infection so um, I just don't go into that territory and that's everything I have to compare for you guys and uh, let me know down below what you think of this video what you think about this palette if you have it if you love it and what you think about the real vs fake series also if there are other products that you want me to review definitely comment down below and let me know what those products are and I'll do my best to find them I hope you enjoyed don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe I'm posting three videos a week and I'm, I'm loving making content for you guys so I will see you in the next one thank you so much bye Hey guys, uh, thank you so much for joining me. I am back with a, that is not how I start my video. Hey guys, 